Yo guys, welcome to episode 2 of the Bellingrad Challenge reviews. I'm looking back on this from the future, so I, I don't know exactly what's going on, but I do remember I go through some interesting live tales. I don't tell you what the exact live tales are, that's for you to work out. But I do give a, a little hintsies of how to apply the live tales. I go in some pretty in-depth, intense hand review histories. Something that you would often only get if you have a one-on-one -on -one session with coach. So it's pretty cool. And we get to see how I would move up in the stakes, what kind of bankroll management I can use. So you can say, hey, is that the kind of bankroll management I want to use? Do I want to be a bit more aggressive, a bit more passive? The one I use is pretty aggressive. I'll just give you a little warning. So if you're going to adjust, I would adjust in the the less insane bankroll management, but the one I use is the one I use going up in stakes as well, and it's the one I would I always tell my students to use, so I'm trying to do this challenge the way I would like you guys to do this challenge if you're gonna do it too. So I hope you enjoy. It's gonna be good. Why is it so light? No, I'm sorry, noise doesn't exist. Too pain frustrating, I've never felt worse about it. I think we just gotta go with it. Casey's just spazzing out. He's not spazzing out. Unfortunate, boys. Unfortunate. I tried getting rid of the chest yesterday and I played some 2550 PLO and then just lost like, so good at sits. And then just lost like 3k and I was like, well, this is dumb. <laughs> um, so good at getting people to check raise into my sets. How do you practice your mindset? A lot of meditation, a lot of um, introspection, a lot of talking to other people about my mindset and about their mindsets and comparing and working out what other people do well that I don't do well, stuff like that, you know. Reading, reading's always good to help round your mind, round and ground. I don't usually three bet ace-queen suit versus under the gun in these stakes, but when you've got that many callers, it's a pretty juicy opportunity. Especially when two of them are fishies. Doug says it's draining for him, but Doug doesn't love the game like I do. Nah, it might be draining for me, I don't know. Oh no, I just keep on falling. There is a problem that sometimes we're literally only up against aces and kings. There is a beautiful thing in life where you might literally only be up against aces and kings. And queens! No! Told you it's better at dancing now. <laughs> it's a very, very spiritual song. It's about the, basically the eradication of the Australian Aborigines. So you know what um, England did to the Native Americans, turned into America and killed, killed them all. It also happened in Australia and this song's about that. Uh, it's, very, uh, it's a very feelsy song. Hold. Oh. Seems reasonable. Yeah. Fair enough, sir. Fair enough. I have four bet bluffed once. Nah, twice actually. What does your motivation do this stream micro? Can you talk about meditation? Uh, motivation is to teach. I've got some students that really want to learn and it's also to improve myself um, as a communicator, as a performer, I guess is kind of performing. And uh, to get my business acumen back in the, back in the game, it, it was just such a weird interaction. And then I had, whilst he, they were like getting her stuff, I was coaching people, and they keep like asking me stuff, and I'm like, I was sitting there just like dying, basically. Oh man. You think 
I wish we could vote on whether I should call or not. Because like, I kind of want to do it out of curiosity. And then I had a... You also play, play Queen 10 offsuit. Sometimes. Do you like playing Queen 10 offsuit? I've bluffed on 2 and L. I've done it. I've hit him with your bluff a Rooney. But he knows that I never bluff on 2 and L, so he must fold, right? His timing felt really weak, so I thought he only had one pair, and I thought people fold one pair here. Don't bluff on two and L. Every time. I was like, no, 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 no. This time I found the perfect spot. Trust me. This is too loose, I wasn't doing this yesterday. I'm gonna, I'm gonna quit that. This guy can fuck off. That guy can call. Hold for a moment. Eh, not too loose, yeah, Riva! You can 3-bet these 9, like 9s generally aren't a good hand to 3-bet, but when you're deep in position it's fine. Anyone else extremely dubious about what's going on the, on the left table? Alright, we're going to try and get value from Ace King here. This trip somehow turned into not the best hand, like, not the best, like, spot to be in. And I do not know how that happened so quickly. No snap call? Alright. Nice hand, sir! Nice! E6 suited. No chance of popping a set. Take a straight. I'll take a straight, please. Just a little straight. Folding out his underpairs here. Don't bluff into an L, what have I done? Don't bluff into. Yes! Yeah! Like the words, with, you, you know the difference. Like, if you've been around negative people, you know it. That shit, as soon as there's one of them, I'm just out. No, I'm just like, check out. I'm just like, don't want to be here. Alright, so win a $20 pot! It's a good turn. He has kings, I think. Ace king. Ace king. Wow, he was not going anywhere. Yay! Pop. Eleven dollar pop. The snap call on the river. Holy shit. He was not happy with that run out. He was so tilted to the run out. He was just like fucking calling everything. And that's how to put pressure on people, and it not work, but still get there. 
Set! Oh my god, have we made it? Guys? 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 Fuck yeah. Alright, so we can move from 2 and L to 5 and L in a day and a bit. So if we can do the same from 5 to 10. Doubled our roll, and we just need to double it again. Alright. Come at me, Donity. What do you got? 626 fresh ones. And no, since Lord knows they haven't done <laughs> much good for anyone. Get me afraid and cold with so much to. 10 8, I like my check. Actually, I prefer tanking it in this. Hold oh, me anymore, and then finally sets me free. When he snapped there, and he had so much of the board, just like a flush draw, a straight draw on the river, I was just like, we're definitely fucked. Dirty girl. Not today. So good at sets. Oh my gosh. I'll take it. No snap. We weren't too worried anyway, but no snap still. Yay. Arrida! Hello, Sabahaka. Ace 10 suited under the gun. Times two, three minutes. I'm actually going to stop now because uh, it takes two minutes for the stream to like, catch up. It's three minutes actually. Isn't it? It's a big three bit, guys. I wonder what it is. I feel like Ace King don't. But it could be anything. He was repping queens. Or tens, but we had ten. The new place looks light, it's got a garden. Like it's just like everything's white, everything's nice looking, and I haven't been there yet, so I'm gonna check it out tomorrow. Turn on music, please. Can you not hear anything? Or is this hollow sync no good for you? You don't know what the fuck's good for you then. Yeah, we get some music again. Want some music? One second, we've had an overbet called. Oh, come on. Unfortunate. Why do I play Zoom instead of normal cash? Well, more happens. 
You get to play more hands. It's harder. It's tougher. People are tougher. Yeah. But uh, it's still 5 and L, so that should be right. <clears throat> you get more entertainment for you guys, which is the important bit. Quicker way to achieve my goal. Because I get to play way more hands than I would otherwise. We're betting here to get value out of Ace, Ace of Spades. Man. All right, guys, you with me on this one? I'm sorry for the bankroll. Oh, he's value bluffing. Didn't feel like he had anything. Yo, I once had an eight high hero call in on the final two tables of a 1K or a 2K where the top prize was like, it was like 10 people left and the top prize was like 300K or something. I've got eight high hero call in. Unfortunately, it was only for a one big blind bet, but it was still pretty fun. It goes limp, blind versus blind. We check uh, eight, seven, I think. The board runs out double paired. Let's say it's like king, king, deuce, deuce, four. And the guy snap min bets the river. And it is a guy that we have very, very good live reads on. Extraordinarily good live reads on. So, my thoughts were to raise it first, but then I realized that, what snap bets? I don't think 10 high snap bets. I don't think nine high snap bets, it might snap bets. Nine high, nine's the one I'm worried about. And sometimes if you, you've got to take this in consideration. Sometimes if you call, the nine just mucks. But, <clears throat> He had the older 7-6. Felt good about that one. Do you think it's bad that I play 100 big blinds deep? Um, it depends on a bunch of stuff. You are stripping yourself of a few things. If you think you have an edge over your opponents, you're decreasing your EV. Um, people make very big mistakes deep stacked. No, people just donate a lot of chips to you. You are also stripping yourself of the knowledge and the practice of how to play deep stacks as well. And that's pretty big. We like 10 sets on the stream. Rats! Minray strat there, one for the fans, and this is how to flop a straight. Marvelous. Bet. Big when you have a big hand, get snap call by night. So we on bumble way. I thought I'd turn that into a melody, so you guys don't forget the rule. <laughs> I'm in like a really dry mood at the moment. It's probably that sage. Uh, if you want to add the more labels, this one, this like, I don't, I don't know what kind of blue that is. Like that blue, that's agrofish. Just to be counterintuitive. Oh, did she let him go? Oh, does she even know? She's the girl with the red balloon. 
take it. If you had looked. Gonna do some focusing on winning some all ins now. Oh, 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 just maybe we already had. In speech play, we don't bluff on two and L. Speech play, we trust. <sighs> it was a mix between in speech. Ah, oh, it's the first speech play that's gone wrong as well. Oh, we might need to move down at some point then. So this guy probably just has like kings, no club, or ace king with no club. Don't matter. Ah, oh, two squirrel clubs I get. Jacks with a club. Jacks with a club. Not here to please Dorian's grave. That would be a grave mistake if I tried to, because people that say things like go insufferable in the chat, very often unpleasable. Ace. Fuck. Oh no, we're getting acids, IMDXM. It's not fun to get acids. Nope, probably not getting aces. Hope not. Is that pot? We weren't getting aces. Alright, so we're isolating to 5x. We have an okay hand to isolate. We're playing deep against a fish. And we're also isolating to a size that we actually get some fold equity doing it. We get a call from this guy. His range, pocket pairs, loads and loads of pocket pairs, suited broadways, off suit broadways, hands like he had like ace 10, 9 10 suited, 8 7 suited. So th this is the kind of shit that your head needs to be doing consciously. Mine does it subconsciously now because I've played so many hands, I've played millions of hands, and it's got. It, it was pretty good at that anyway, but this is the kind of shit you need to be going through. So you need to think, what is the best thing that we can do? What is the best thing that we can do to exploit that range? And like I said, when I checked the flop, I was like, yo, people tend to stab these flops because it looks like we've given up and they just want to bet to win the pot. So I was like, check. And he's like, stab. You can automatically see here, his sizing doesn't look super nutted. It doesn't look like a set. Um, it could be like 7-9 suited maybe, some people don't like to bet that big with the nuts, but we're, we're going for it. It could be like 9s, 10s, could be 5 decks out of the small, but it's pretty strong, he can still have like jacks. Um, so on the queen, he now bets 70. Again, this, is, this isn't this is super nutted, um, this is the size that I think a queen would go. Uh, maybe like a strong queen, like king queen or queen jack. I think if he had a set, he would end up going bigger because there's just way too many cards that can kill his action or they can give me the best hand. So when the river comes, it bets that size again. It suddenly stops feeling like very Queen Jackie. Um, I don't know, it just, I can't put this into words, but it, don't, it doesn't feel like Queen Jack's gonna go that size, even though it would make sense to go that size of Queen Jack, because Queen Jack's almost, the best, almost always the best hand. People just do this weird thing where they have like a, a weak top pair and they don't wanna go that big three streets. Um, 
So, I thought that he can either have ace queen, king queen, and then loads of bluffs, because this looks like the kind of size that bluffs might go, because we're, we're ruling out the knighted hands. So, what kind of bluffs can he have? He can have ace jack, ace 10, king 10, king jack, king 9 suited, ace 9 suited, 10 9, and, you know. I didn't need to name the last three, and we already had enough bluffs to make it a profitable call. So, yeah. That. And the fact that he was bluffing with ace-10 off, which is one of the worst hands out of all the ones that I said to bluff with, uh, it's a good sign. It's a good sign that he was going to be bluffing all the other ones. Do you think that I should do more of that stopping and talking through hands, or would you like me to just keep playing? Whoa. What do you think? Because I could do that all day. Talk about step by step going through the hands. Yesterday was the day of quads. Today's the day of straight flushes. This is a good situation to be in, if those guys fuck off. Just needed a top pair. Needed a 10, something like that. I reckon this guy has a good chance of leveling himself now just because he said Lego. I'm here for fun. He wants to make it clear that this is not a standard call, so he's probably got something like 10 8 or something. Top set, you have top set, get out of here, speak. Rats. Guys, I'm pissed off. Have, oh my god, I can't think of fucking anything. Have ace queen. Have ten eight. It's not looking good, guys. Oh my god, does that mean we win? Now he said that, it makes me want to call. Yes, 
Yes, we got him. We got him, boys. There it is. Queens and queens. Fuck yeah, dude. Good at boats. I'm good at sets. I'm good at boats as well. Alright guys, we did it. We made it. Is that the exact count? Hundred and twenty-four point zero seven.